Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga Upload. I'm Maris Aylward. Today's class is a short, hands-free, wrist-free yoga practice. It's another yoga flow class without downward facing dog, plank, and chaturanga. This is a great practice for you to do when you want to give your wrists, your elbows, and your shoulders a bit of a break, but you still want to do a flowing yoga practice. It's also a short one. We practice for approximately 30 minutes. There's a few minutes of shavasana at the end, and then we close the practice together. Make sure to check the description box below for my tips on this class and also for more information about the channel. And make sure you subscribe to Yoga Upload. It's all free and that way you don't miss any videos. I hope you like this one. Let me know what your experience is. Write it in the comment section below. And if you do like it, give it a thumbs up and maybe also share it with other people that you think will benefit from it. As always, just do what you can, rest when you need to, and enjoy your practice. Let's start. Begin in Mountain Pose, Tadasana at the front of your mat. Stand with the feet hip distance apart. Bring the palms together in front of the heart and close your eyes. Watch your inhale, watch your exhale. Let the breath anchor you in the present moment. With each exhale, imagine breathing out whatever you don't need right now. Let go of whatever happened today. This is your time for yourself. Be fully present in your body. Open the eyes, relax the arms by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Relax the upper body, keep your knees slightly bent. And cup the elbows. If it feels good, sway side to side. No tension in the upper back, the shoulders, and the neck. Keep the breath going. Let go of the elbows. And on your next inhale, lift halfway up, lengthen the spine. Exhale back to forward fold, relax the head. Two more times, inhale, halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. One more, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. With the knees soft and the arms relaxed, on your exhale, slowly roll up. Once you're all the way up, inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, go straight to forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, step the left foot back. Drop your left knee down for a low lunge. Walk the hands up. Pull the low belly in. Keep the length of your spine as you reach the arms up. Look forward at one spot or look up, lift the heart. Keep the face soft, shoulders relaxed. If you're looking up, look forward again. Bring the fingertips to the floor, just a light touch. Lift your left knee up and your right arm up for a runner's twist. Use the power of your legs here. Stay light on your left arm. Now release the right hand down to the floor. From your lunge, turn to face the left side of your mat, the long edge of your mat for side lunges. Turn your toes out, bend the knees, drop the hips, and move side to side. Bend the right leg, extend the left, and then switch. Do three more times on each side. Bend and extend the legs to any degree that's comfortable for you. Feel the stretch in the inner thighs. We'll get some movement in our ankles, knees, and hips. Come back to the center and come up. Place the hands on your thighs. Inhale, lengthen the upper body. Exhale, twist, bring the right shoulder towards the left knee. 
and come back to the center, switch sides, press your left shoulder towards the right knee. Keep the breath going. Release and come back to the center. Stay in that wide squat. Stretch the arms out to the sides with the palms facing up. Keep your chest lifted. And release. Straighten the legs. Relax the arms. Find your warrior two. Turn the right foot out. Bend the right knee. Stretch the arms out to the sides. Pause in your Virabhadrasana two. Take one more inhale and exhale, bring the hands down to the floor, lift the back heel, step the left foot forward, forward fold. On your exhale, slowly roll up. Once you're all the way up, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms behind you, interlace the fingers and fold forward from the hips, lift the arms up, let the head go. Notice the shoulders and the wrists. Any amount that you can, bring the palms closer together and breathe. On your next exhale, use the power of your legs to lift you all the way back up to standing. Release the hands. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, palms together, hands to the heart, mountain pose, Tadasana. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees and step the right foot back. Drop the right knee down for your low lunge. Walk the hands up. And reach the arms up. Keep looking forward or add your back bend. Lift the heart. Look up. If you're looking up, look forward again. Bring the fingertips to the floor. Just a light touch. Runner's twist. Lift the right knee up and the left arm up. Use the power of your legs. Stay light on your right hand, light on your right arm. Now release the left hand down to the floor. From your lunge, turn to face the right side of your mat, the long edge of your mat. Side lunge, turn the toes out, bend your knees, drop the hips. Now bend your right knee, extend the left leg. This time we'll pause here in the pose. Keep that left foot active. Keep the length in your spine. Keep the chest lifted. Breathe through the sensations that come up. And we'll switch sides. Keep the right foot active. Press the heel forward. Press the toes back. Breathe. And release, come back to the center. Still in that wide squat, come up. Stretch the arms out to the sides, palms face up, we'll add some movement. Inhale, reach the arms up, straighten the legs. Exhale, come back down to your squat, stretch the arms out. Again, inhale, arms up, straight legs. Exhale, back to your squat. Three more, inhale. And exhale, sit lower. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, sit in your squat. Stretch the arms out, palms face up. Pause here, challenge the legs. If you can sit lower, go ahead, try it out. Drop the hips, breathe. Almost there. And release from your pose, relax. Find warrior two on the left. Turn your left foot out, bend the knee, arms out. Relax the face, relax the shoulders. 
Stay one more inhale. And on your exhale, bring the hands down to the floor. Lift your back heel up. Step the right foot forward for a forward fold. With the knee soft, exhale, slowly roll up. Use the power of your legs and your core. Once you're all the way up, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, arms behind you again. Interlace your fingers your non-habitual way. And then fold forward from the hips. Drape your chest over the thighs. Relax the head. Maybe bring the palms closer together this time. Keep the breath going. Notice any changes in the shoulders, the wrists. On your next exhale, use the power of your legs to lift you all the way up to standing. Once you're all the way up, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the palms together, hands to the heart, mountain pose, Tadasana. Pause here a few moments. We'll work on chair pose. Bend the knees, sit the hips back, and reach the arms up, arms by the ears. Challenge the legs, sit lower, stay strong. Keep everything else the same. Reach the arms back with the palms facing down. On your next inhale, reach the arms back up by the ears. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knee, step the left foot back. Keep your back heel lifted this time for a high lunge. Walk the hands up. Balance on the ball of that back foot and reach the arms up. We'll add some movement. Inhale here. Exhale, lean forward, reach the arms back. Again, inhale, come up, arms up. Exhale, lean forward, arms back. Three more times. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lean forward, bring the chest to your thigh. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward, bring your hands to the hips for warrior three balancing. Begin to lift your left leg up as you tip the upper body forward. Maintain a long line from the crown of your head to your left heel and level hips. Add the arms when you're ready, reach them forward. Stay strong, you're almost there. And carefully release back to your high lunge, step the left foot back. Then bring the hands down to the floor and turn to face the left side of your mat, the long edge of your mat. This time, turn your toes in, fold forward from the hips, relax the upper body, plant your palms on the floor, Hands level with the feet if you can, and press the shoulders away from the ears. We'll stay in this forward fold. Enjoy the lengthening in the back of the legs, in the back body, and breathe. Now get ready to come up. Bring your hands to the hips. Use the power of your legs to lift you all the way up. Find warrior two on the right. Turn your right foot out. Bend the right knee. Stretch the arms out. We'll add our flow. Inhale, arms up. Straighten the right leg. Exhale, back to warrior two. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Three more times. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Back to warrior two. Pause the legs here for reverse warrior. Right palm faces up. Reach your right arm up. Rest your left hand lightly on your back leg. Look in any direction that feels good for your neck. On your next inhale, come back to your warrior two. 
Exhale, bring the hands down to the floor, lift your back heel up, and step your left foot forward. Bring the feet close together for chair pose. Bend the knees, sit the hips back, come up and reach the arms up, Utkatasana. Keep the legs strong, we'll add some twists. Inhale here, exhale, twist to the right, stretch the arms out. Inhale back to center, exhale, twist left. Two more, inhale, center, exhale, twist right. Inhale, center, exhale, twist left. One more on each side. Inhale, back to center, exhale, twist right. Stay here for three, two, one. Back to the center, inhale, exhale, twist left, and stay for three, two, one. One, come back to the center, inhale, exhale, go straight to forward fold, inhale, halfway up, lengthen, exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, step the right foot back this time, keep the back heel lifted for your high lunge, crescent pose, come up, reach the arms up. We'll add our movement, challenge the legs, inhale here. Exhale, lean forward, reach the arms back. Again, inhale, come up, arms up. Exhale, lean forward, bring the chest to the thigh. Three more times. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lean forward, swing the arms back. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lean forward. Pause here, hands to the hips, prepare for balancing warrior three. Lift the right foot up. As you tip your upper body forward, lift the back leg. Maintain level hips, keep a steady gaze on the floor. Add your arms, reach them forward, stay with it, almost there. Carefully, mindfully release back to your high lunge. Pause for a while, let that go. Then bring the hands down to the floor, turn to face the right side of your mat. Take a shorter stance for your side stretch. Walk your hands towards your right foot. Slide all ten fingers under the outside edge of the right foot. Hold on tight, then bend your left knee and lean to the left. Relax your head on your left arm. Feel the play of opposites. As you pull on that right foot, Press your right foot down on the fingers as you lean to the left. Enjoy the stretch in the left side of your upper body, your left arm, your inner thighs. Pause here and breathe. Gently release your right foot and we'll switch sides. Walk the hands over to the left. Slide the fingers under the outside edge of the foot. Hold on tight. Bend the right knee and lean to the right. Relax the head on your right arm. Pause here. Keep the breath going. And release your left foot. Come back to the center, get ready to come up, hands on hips, use the power of your legs to lift you up. Find warrior two on the left, Virabhadrasana two, stretch the arms out, let's add our movement. Inhale arms up, straighten the left leg, exhale bend the knee, arms out. Again, inhale arms up, exhale back to warrior two, three more, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale back to warrior two, keep the legs here for reverse warrior, left palm up, reach your left arm up, stay with that lunge in your left leg, look in any direction that feels good for your neck, inhale back to warrior two, exhale bring the hands down to the floor, Step your right foot forward, bring the feet close together, move into chair pose, bend the knees, sit the hips back, come up, 
reach the arms up. This time we'll add a prayer twist. Bring the palms together, hands to the heart. Inhale, lengthen the upper body. Exhale, twist right. Place the left elbow on the outside of your right thigh. Keep the knees in the same line. Press the palms together firmly to help you twist more to the right. Almost there. And release back to the center. Arms up. Palms together, hands to the heart, twist to the other side, right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Keep the knees together, facing forward. Press the palms together more to help you twist to the left. Look over your left shoulder. Soften the face. Almost there. And release back to the center. Bring the arms up. Palms together, hands to the heart, mountain pose. Tadasana, relax the arms. Pause for a few moments here. On your next inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Come to your Malasana deep squat. Bring the feet wider than the hips. Turn your toes out, bend the knees and drop the hips. Palms together in front of the heart. Press the elbows and the inner thighs against each other. Keep your chest lifted. Stay a few more seconds in Malasana. And carefully release. Bring the hands behind you. Sit the hips on the floor. For our first set of seated bound angle pose, Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of the feet together. Inhale, lengthen the upper body. Exhale, fold forward any amount. And release, come up, prepare for both pose, Navasana. Balance on your seat, pull the low belly in, keep the chest lifted, lift your toes off the ground. If you're able to, bring your legs parallel to the floor, reach the arms forward. We'll add some movement. Inhale, lean back, straighten the legs. Exhale, come back to boat pose. Inhale, lean back, straighten the legs any amount. Exhale, back to boat. Three more times, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale back to boat. Stay here or straighten the legs any amount, but still keep the chest lifted. Last effort and release the feet down. Second set of bound angle pose. Pause here a few moments. Release and come up. Prepare for a second set of your boat pose, Navasana. Balance on your seat, lift the legs. This time we'll add a twist. So reach the arms forward and bring the palms together. You can do this with bent knees or straight legs. Inhale here. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Carefully, two more times. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. One more. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. Stay for three, two, one. Come back to the center. Inhale. Exhale, twist left and stay for three, two, one. Come back to the center. Bring the feet down to the mat. Last set of your bound angle, Baddha Konasana. You can fold forward more, walk the hands forward, soften any tension in the face, the neck, or the shoulders. Keep the breath going. Begin to release, walk the hands back, plant the feet to the mat, hip distance apart. Get ready to roll all the way down to your back, all the way down to the floor. Prepare for bridge pose. With the feet still hip distance apart, press the feet down to lift the hips up. Walk the elbows closer together, interlace the fingers. Press the feet and the arms down to the floor to lift the hips and the chest up. 
Take a few more deep breaths. Unclasp the fingers and prepare to release. Slowly roll down, upper back, mid back, tailbone comes down last. Once your hips are all the way down, cross your right thigh over your left thigh. Just wrap them as tightly as you can. We'll do a hip stretch. Lift your feet off the ground. Place your hands on your shins or on your feet if you can reach. Hug your legs in towards your chest. At the same time, press your tailbone and your hips down towards the floor. Relax the face. Be patient with your body. Breathe through the sensations that come up. Release your grip. Prepare for eagle twist. Drop your knees to the left. Press your right shoulder down towards the mat, even if it doesn't reach the ground. Look over your right arm. If the twist is too intense, uncross the legs and do a simple reclining twist with the legs stacked. Stay here a few more moments. Enjoy the breath. Release and come back to the center. We'll switch sides. Wrap your left thigh as tightly as you can over the right thigh. Lift the feet up. Place the hands on your shins or on your feet. Feel the play of opposites. As you hug your legs in towards your chest, press your tailbone and your hips down towards the floor. And keep the breath going. Release your hands for a twist. Drop your knees to the right. Press your left shoulder down. Stay in eagle twist or switch to a simple reclining twist. Stay a few more seconds here. release come back to the center uncross the legs move into happy baby our last pose before Shavasana lift the feet up place your hands on your thighs your legs or your feet keep the feet active press your tailbone down towards the mat you can stay here if this feels good or any time you can add some gentle movements in Happy Baby. Sway gently side to side. Maybe extend the legs. And here you can do any free movement that feels good to you. Whatever you need to complete your practice. Let's prepare for Shavasana. Make yourself really comfortable. Relax the legs. Relax the arms by your sides with your palms facing up. Close the eyes. Soften the entire face. Relax your tongue. Let it fall away from the roof of the mouth. Feel the body start to become heavier and heavier, melting into the mat. Shavasana is a time for complete surrender. We'll stay here a few more minutes, keep still, and rest.
If you need more time in Shavasana, feel free to stay longer. If you are ready to reawaken, start with small movements anywhere. Wiggle your fingers and your toes, move the head. Still keep the eyes closed if you can. Give yourself a nice long body stretch. Take your time. Slowly bend your knees, roll over to one side. Pause when you get there, rest your head on your arms. Whenever you feel ready, press away from the floor. Come up to any seated pose. Sit with your spine nice and tall. Observe how you feel after our practice. Bring the palms together in front of the heart. Bow the head down in gratitude. Take this peaceful energy with you as you go through the rest of your day. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.